universal art scale. So this is where I would come to finish any and all of my kind of like work before I present. Okay, so universal upscaler, we've got to put it here. I'm going to put it on. So this is like where you set which model it says you've got either general illustration, cinematic or game assets. Five is kind of the baseline standard. It just means creativity strength kind of means like how far do you want to go versus like how how close do you want to be to your original versus how creative can I go with it? And that means in the sense of like adding details and adding extra lines and that kind of stuff. If you put it very high, sometimes images can what I call break, which just means like it distorts it. But if you want weird, quirky, bizarre things, that's kind of cool. Or if you have it really, really close, so that's going to be very clear to your initial thing. I'm just going to put it on five because that's our standard average. And we'll go and quickly see if we can get some different outcomes. So you render it out. Um, you can also get an idea of how, what the pixel dimensions are going to be. It's really helpful if you're working in, I don't know, any sort of like I don't know, marketing, advertising. If you're going to print the thing out, it's kind of helpful to know dimensions as well. And the depending on your like dimensions of the thing. So this is like if you have like a rectangular image versus like a square or something of different things. Also with tokens, because we generated this in the feed, like that's going to be different to um, bring out a different image. So if we have a quick zoom in, I don't know if you guys can see the difference with this, but I can, oh, here we go. Let's go have a look at this. Like the difference in the, the grass is really distinct, just, well, whatever that thing is, the, the thing. And the sand, if we go have a look at this sand here, Whoop, zoom in. Um, yeah, so it's like a really nice render on the ball thing and it's gotten an added almost like a gloss to it. It'll be interesting to see the difference between this versus if I go and put it on, let's put it on, let's just do a quick experiment. Probably going to get a bit funky, get like a lot of dots because we like to add all the detail, but that's like a beautiful gloss. Like that's bloody gorgeous. I like the reflection on the water as well. Oh, and the stars. Nice. Okay. So also we're going to go from that. I'm going into motion. I just want to like finish this up.